Assalamualaikum okay, Hari ni kita nak I want to teach you the characteristics of uh, the characters and uh, the characteristic Character tu watak daripada buku tu Okay, uh, daripada buku apa? Sing to the Dawn Right? So, I hope you have uh, finished reading And if you don't understand any of the chapters, you can refer to my YouTube channels Okay? So, Sing to the Dawn uh, The author atau penulis adalah Ming Fong Ho So, uh, let's carry on with the characters and characteristics Kita nak tengok, kita nak analyze Kita nak analyze uh, watak dan juga Karakteristik, karakteristik ni macam sifat setiap karakter tersebut Okay, and then we have the first one, we have Dawan Okay, obviously lah, she's like, she's like the heroine of the uh, of this book lah Alright, she is a 14 year old school girl She wins the scholarship to study in the city school I hope by now you know how old is she, she is like 14 years old And then she wins the scholarship and you all know what is the meaning of the word scholarship Scholarship means biasiswa Biasiswa nak pergi mana? Nak pergi study in the city school Alright, so at first, a uh, few chapters yang ke depan The first uh, few chapters, early chapters uh, low self-esteem Low self-esteem ni maksudnya Keyakinan diri dia kurang Okay She initially thinks uh, Thinks she will never win the scholarship Dia mau She want uh, She wants the scholarship But She thinks that she will never win the scholarship Because She is only a girl At that time uh, Setting kepada novel ni Adalah zaman dulu Alright Zaman di mana Perempuan Stay at home Okay Take care of the children Cook Okay, and then uh, apa tu? Uh, do it all over again. Repeat all of that. Okay. While the man uh, cari uh, kerja, cari duit. Uh, yang tu, that, that is at that time lah. Time they pony lah. Right? So, that's why. Sebab she she grows up in this kind of like environment. So, she thinks that she will never win the scholarship because of this scenario. Okay, sebab senario benda ni jadi Okay, lelaki kena Lelaki ke depan, perempuan duk rumah je So, mas, pasal ni lah dia, dia develop, dia datang Low self-esteem, kurangan uh, ke, uh, Kurang keyakinan diri She thinks the teacher does not have hopes for her Dia rasa Teacher cikgu, uh, cikgu dia ni Tak ada harapan untuk dia Sebab she is only a girl, okay But she is very determined Bila, bila dia dah tahu dia dapat je scholarship when she knows that she, when she found out like she won the scholarship she was very determined dia rasa uh, at first she was like betul ke aku menang but then she was very determined okay she wants to go to the city to see for herself even though her cousin knowing discourages her dia nak juga pergi pekan nak tengok dan nak belajar sebab dia nak there's something about uh, dekat masa time tu uh, injustice okay tak adil tak adil tentang mana tak, tak ada tentang kutipan berah ataupun cukai lah alright uh, tapi dia uh, dia bawa uh, dia jumpa Noi tapi Noi tak ni tak tak bagi dia pergi lah discourages her means like macam tak support dia but Although, walaupun Noi, cousin dia tak support dia, she is not willing to give up her chance for Kwai. Adik dia Kwai, who places second in the examination. Sepatutnya, the whole family hope for Kwai. Because Kwai is a boy, and Kwai is the right uh, right person at that time to go. To to be able, uh, macam, uh, the right person to want, uh, to win the scholarship and to go to the city and everything. But, Bila dia dapat tahu dia menang, dia tak dia tak mau. Uh, dia dia macam daripada low self esteem tadi dia rasa macam dia nak juga pi city tu. Even though uh, dia tahu cousin dia uh, tak bagi dia pi. Pasal apa cousin dia 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 tanya cousin dia dia nak cousin dia sebab sebab cousin dia uh, pernah duduk dengan husband dia gan dekat city. So macam-macam Noi dengan Gan cerita pasal Siti ni yang buruk-buruk semua dekat dalam but she is not willing to give up walaupun dia dengar macam-macam cerita but she still wants to go. Ha, yang tu adalah determine. Determine ni berazam keazaman yang tinggi. Something that all of you should have in your SPM even though ada COVID-19. Okay. She finds ways to fight her right to study in the city school. Dia cari jalan untuk uh, 
untuk berjuangkan hak dia sebab dia dapat so dia nak study dekat city school tu she reason with uh, she reasons with her father when he disapproves her to further schooling kan dia ada confrontation dengan bapak dia dia jumpa bapak dia dia macam dia walaupun dia dia tak gaduh dia tak naikkan suara kat bapak dia dia just dia rasional dengan bapak dia dia bagi reason dekat bapak dia but, tapi bapak dia tak suka she convinces quiet that she could take on the responsibilities to make a difference dia yakin kan dia terlampau berazam which is a good thing kan dia, dia determined she is very determined dia dah berjaya meyakinkan kuai yang dia boleh pikul tanggungjawab untuk pergi study dan ubah kehidupan dia pula right that shows that she is very determined uh, untuk SPM you must know the character, uh, characteristic of each of the characters especially that one untuk SPM salah satu tips yang cikgu bagi adalah you need to know uh, the characteristic sebab apa Okay, bila kita tahu karakteristik, uh, kita tahu apa kita nak jawab masa soalan. Sebab soalan kadang-kadang boleh cakap, uh, okay, uh, apa, uh, jawab lah, uh, apa karakteristik dawan, okay, jawab cikgu P, right? Uh, apa tu? Uh, so, perwatakan dia adalah, dia very determined, okay, low self-esteem. Ustaz, sistem ni macam tidak berkaitan diri dan cita cita diri and then uh, she, she is uh, uh, courageous courageous macam berani kenapa berani? sebab dia dia pergi dekat temple pergi dekat queen untuk mendapatkan pertolongan daripada head mom nampak tak? sini ok Uh, teacher baru nak guna teknologi ni So, bear with me please Okay uh, Lepas tu, dia punya berani Dia pergi temple tu Okay Dia pergi temple Temple ni uh, Quail tu Untuk mendapatkan pertolongan Daripada uh, head mom uh, Lagi sekali cikgu abang uh, Head mom ni untuk dia pun punya agama seumpama macam ketua kampung. Sebab uh, head mom ni orang yang paling dihormati dalam uh, kampung mereka. Head mom ni ketua sami. Kalau botak tu kan. Okay. So, uh, to persuade her father. Untuk pujuk bapa dia. Persuade ni pujuk. Itu menunjukkan dia berani. Okay. She rushes out to help bow when she is hit by bichai. Dia... Uh, bergegas keluar untuk tolong bau bila dia kena pukul dengan uh, bila bau tu kena pukul dengan bicai berani lah ok so bicai ni lelaki lelaki ni yang betul lah kan kuat kan jadi bila dia pukul kawan dia bau ni dia tolong she argues with the mom menunjukkan dia berani lah she argues with the mom who is highly respected by people dia kan mom uh, head mom dia nak supaya nak dapatkan persetujuan uh, head mom untuk tolong dia nak convince, nak meyakinkan bapak dia tapi head mom tu tak akan nak setuju jadi dia argue dengan mom pula dah ok, menunjukkan dia very courageous courageous means berani right, kita tulis kat sini berani ok tuduh nak tulis ni ok, uh, she goes to the marketplace alone To buy a lotus bud Lotus bud nanti teacher tunjuk gambar Lotus bud ni adalah Bunga teratai yang tak kembang lagi Even though she has never been there by herself before Dia pergi marketplace ni uh, Marketplace ni tempat market ni sorang-sorang Sebab apa dia punya marketplace Dia nak uh, buy something to uh, uh, For the head mom Okay And then um, Selain daripada berani dengan uh, berazam caring. She is very caring. Sebab apa dia caring? She leaves her umbrella for Kwan. Uh, for Kwan. Tak ada. For Kwai lah. Bukan Kwan lah. Kwai. Dia tersilap. Typo. For Kwai to sit in the rain even though he has hurt her badly. Walaupun dia uh, macam kan mula-mula dia pernah dapat tahu scholarship. Dia pernah dapat tahu siapa menang scholarship. Siapa menang beasiswa. Kwai was like really mad and he was like not uh, macam not helping Dawan, not supporting Dawan at that time. So uh, tang situ dia dah hurt uh, Dawan so badly kan. Tapi still, dia leaves umbrella masa hujan untuk kuai, to sit in the rain. Okay. And then last but not least, she is very ambitious. Ambitious ni bercita-cita tinggi. Bercita-cita tinggi. Sekejap nak tulis juga. Ber 
cita-cita tinggi. Okey. Nampak jangan pula nak ni teacher buat short form sebab punya lah payah nak tulis ni. Okey. She wants to further her studies to make a difference in the society. Dia bercita-cita tinggi sebab dia nak belajar, dia nak dia nak sangat scholarship satu supaya dia dapat ubah ketidakadilan dekat uh, dalam kampung dia. Okey. So this is about Dawan. Kita pi lagi dekat Kuai. Bila Kuai, he is 13 years old. 13 tahun. He is Dawan's brother. Dia uh, Dawan's uh, adik. He gets second in the examination. Dia dapat tempat kedua dalam uh, perperiksaan tu, hak yang scholarship tu, dapat kedua. Uh, okay, first watak dia adalah jealous. Uh, jealous ni dengki. Uh, cemburu. He is unhappy when Dawan wins the scholarship. Uh, itu bukti dia cemburu. He looks down on Dawan's capability to lead people. Dia rasa macam boleh kau Dawan ni kan bawa perubahan tu boleh tau. Uh, tapi you cannot blame Kwai for being uh, for acting this way because um, this is the norm at that time. Ini adalah kebiasaan masa zaman ni. Right, masa zaman dalam uh, zaman dulu-dulu. But he is very ambitious. Okay, dia bercita-cita tinggi juga. He wants to study in the city school so that he could teach his father how to raise new crops, use better fertilizers, set up a hospital for their village or advise people not to get cheated by the tax collector. Right, dia pun nak study juga dalam uh, apa tu? Dekat city. Dia pun nak ajak bapak dia macam mana nak uh, apa? raise new crops. Maksudnya, uh, produce uh, tanaman hasil baru dan uh, uh, use better fertilizers fertilizer ni baja okay. uh, set up a hospital buat hospital untuk kampung dan boleh nasihat orang jangan kena tipu dengan orang yang kutip cukai brave, uh, dia pun berani juga because he stops bichai from hitting bau again they stop bicai daripada pukul bau and he is also very caring just like the sister, dia juga very uh, caring, penyayang he helps to talk to his father into letting Dawan study years ago okay, then he tries to wipe away the blood on Dawan's wound okay uh, nampak uh, with banana leaf okay dia caring. Dawan dia cedera. Nampak tak? Allah Akbar. Okay, Dawan. Tulun tau. Cik ni orang pulun. Okay. Dawan uh, wound. Okay. Dia macam ni. Dia cedera bila dia ada something jadi dekat uh, apa? Dia masih dekat market. Jadi uh, apa yang dia buat? Uh, dia ambil. Dia nak lap luka dekat uh, Dawan tu dengan Daun pisang. Okay, nampak. Alright. So, menunjukkan the caring. He formally wants the scholarship badly. He eventually sends Dawan off full heartedly. So, dia 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 memang asal dia demam sangat-sangat. Tapi, last sekali dia comes to term with the fact that Dawan yang akan pergi. Dia redor lah, dia pasrah. Dan dia dia hantar kakak dia pergi dengan nyanyikan lagu. Alright. So, this is Kwai. We have a long way to go. Huh? So, ha tapi hari ni teacher get into these two characters. Dawan dengan Kwai. Alright. Satu teacher nak habak. Huh? Kenapa teacher uh, do fokus dekat uh, uh, low self-esteem. Apa dia bukti dia. Sebab in order soalan nanti dalam SPM. Okay, kalau mana nak tahu soalan dalam SPM, soalan bentuk esay 15 markah. Jadi, katakan soalan dia, based on the novel, berdasarkan novel Sing to the Dawn. Okay. Um, let's see, soalan paling simple. Uh, state one characteristic of Dawan. Katakanlah, dia kata, so, uh, ceritakan satu watak Dawan. So, hampa akan pilih yang paling panjang. Teacher recommend hampa pilih paling panjang ni termin, berazam tinggi. Okay, uh, teacher buat berazam tinggi. Okay, di di temi ni macam memang orang yang pulun betul betul dia nak. Okay, alright, so berazam tinggi. So 
Bila karakteristik Amda sebut she it, uh, based on the novel that I read, Sing to the Dawn, written by Ming Fong Ho, nanti uh, ada lagi slot lain dicakan habak macam mana nak tulis jawapan. Okay, hampak uh, satu point yang hampak kena tahu, dia nak satu watak dan dia nak evidence. Okay, contohnya hampak kata orang tu, uh, contoh uh, selain daripada Sing to the Dawn. Uh, okay, CA ni curi pen saya. Apa bukti? Apa kata si A ni curi pen ha? So, you gotta have evidence, bukti. So, dia pun nak bukti. Pasal apa? Apa kata she is very determined? Ha, ini adalah bukti dia. Ini adalah watak, karakteristik. Okay, ini adalah karakteristik. Dan ini adalah bukti. Evidence. Okay, alright. Tak mahu tulis dah, tak larat dah. Courageous, berani. Ha, so, this is watak dia. Dan ini adalah evidence. Dekat mana dalam buku yang menunjukkan dia ni berani. Ha, this is, these are all the evidence that point out. Uh, that point out that that one is in fact a courageous person. And she is very caring. Ha, ini bukti dia. Ambitious. Ini bukti dia. Sama macam kuai. Right? All of these are characteristics. Okay, characteristic. Ingat lah. Characteristic. These are evidence. Okay. These are what? These are evidence. Evidence that it can support whatever you are saying. So, I'm going to stop here first. There are a lot of other characters waiting for me to, uh, waiting for for you all. Okay. Uh, di sampai head mong ni. Tapi tak banyak sangat. Uh. Okay. Nanti teacher akan teruskan. But, teacher nak fokuskan dekat dua orang ni because they are the main characters. Okay. So, happy learning everybody. Assalamualaikum.